will see a concrete example of inclusive design in action. And joining us, we have Mike Alders from the city of Amsterdam. He's an expert in UX design with a strong focus on inclusive design. Uh, he's got a background in both governmental and business environments. And also with you here on the stage already, we have Peter Eichelbaum, who is the business developer of the IRMA app, this digital identity app where uh, we have Mike is the UX designer and Peter is the business developer. So very excited to see what you have to showcase for us today. With no further ado, let's give these two gentlemen a round of applause. to, to uh, present our mobile counter. It's a wooden suitcase we brought it from the Netherlands. Uh, we'd like to show it to you. Uh, I will show this, do this presentation with uh, Peter. Uh, I know this guy for more than 30 years now. I think we did the same, we did the same study. We did user, usability research together. Delft University of Technology. Later on, I passed the cross multiple times. And now we're here together. Peter, you might. Uh, Yes, so we go back a while, uh, we did different jobs, but uh, we met again in this uh, wonderful project because we are, I'm working with SIN and uh, we are working on the digital identity wall of Kerma and digital identity wall of Kerma is open source and the municipality of Amsterdam uh, thought, okay, we can use that in our city uh, we have in our city, I might as well do the presentation so I won't talk much about it but, they took our code and they made a wonderful uh, 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 suitcase out of it. Now you can, uh, can service people who are not that busy savvy, but Mike will tell you all about it. If you want, want, more, more, want to know more about Kerma, we have, are completely uh, uh, open source and online, so you can find all of the stuff around here. But let's focus today in this presentation on this, uh, this use case. So Mike will give the presentation, I will be his assistant, so I will we'll sit down now. <laughs> okay, thank you Peter. So I'm a UX designer of, uh, at, a lead UX designer at the city of Amsterdam. Amsterdam is a diverse city. We have, uh, today we have about 880,000 inhabitants. Does anyone here have an idea how many nationalities live in Amsterdam? <coughs> Hundred thirty? No, it's hundred seventy-two. So it's, we have a lot of minorities. And we also have more minorities. Like we have thirty percent of our users is sixty-five years old or older. Um, we have a lot of people um, from different backgrounds. Uh, not even half of our population has a Dutch background. And more important, twenty-five percent of our users has one or more disabilities. Uh, the city of Amsterdam, in 2019, uh, they created a digital city for the citizens of Amsterdam. Uh, amongst other plans, uh, the city of Amsterdam wants to give control to the citizens, to the inhabitants of Amsterdam. Uh, and that's why we started a digital identity team in 2019. Uh, we started designing a new uh, digital identity app. Uh, here, we did many iterations. Uh, by the way, this is my daughter. My daughter, she, want, she was one of the respondents. Um, actually, we started designing an uh, ideal app. We did a lot of research on how to make it usable, how to make it accessible for everyone. Uh, we did, as I said, we did multiple tests. Uh, but uh, at a certain moment, we came in contact with Irma, and Irma was very enthusiastic about designs and asked me to be the product owner to implement the first MVP version of the UX design. And that's why we released the new Irma app in 2020. And the Irma app is an app where uh, that you can install on your iPhone, for example, or your uh, Android phone. Uh, with Irma, you can identify yourself, of course, you can share attributes with yourself, you can share derived attributes. 
you can log in, you can uh, sign documents, and today Irma is, a, is powered by SEDN, and SEDN is uh, helping Irma to, uh, uh, to, to, uh, to, to the next level, for example, to be uh, uh, an example for the EU. For the EU. While my suit coat is starting up, I need to, uh, to share my uh, internet connection. We'll wait and see. Otherwise, I'll disconnect it because it's a prototype. It's always happening. But I need you later. I said uh, we did multiple research. Uh, this is called. Uh, this is. This are images from our little street. We made concrete uh, images of uh, uh, Amsterdam houses, and we asked people to install an app that was developed by the Dutch government. And via this app, people could load their uh, passport or ID card in in that app, and the people could transfer these data to Irma. And afterwards, they could, could perform several uh, tests using this uh, data. For example, log in to the website of the municipality of Amsterdam, uh, report waste on streets, or uh, even uh, they could uh, identify themselves, show their passport, uh, show their, uh, that they're above 18 years old, and show their past, past photo using Irma. Um, and we also did uh, user research by prototypes with young people that shows their driving ability and that they are above 18 to an agent. It was more in a person-to-person -person, uh, interaction. Now the, the, uh, the research with the app of the Dutch government um, was using uh, read ID for NFC and iProof for a license scan. Now with this research, these are some in images from that uh, research. Uh, what we've seen that we managed to transfer the, the verified past photo from the app from the Dutch government to Irma. So we had a past photo in Irma. Uh, we also uh, loaded all these data in Irma so we could, uh, the user could load verified credentials to use in, a, um, in our other applications. Um, but the large minority, a large minority, 25% of users, stuck. They didn't manage to do it themselves. Um, people, uh, for example, IP scan, people had difficulty holding the, their phone and their ID card or their password, the passport together. Uh, they also find it hard to, uh, to understand how to orient all these uh, data because they have to twist their phone and to scan the machine readable zone. Uh, in some cases, this machine readable zone uh, did not, uh, rec was not recognized, and there are sometimes we, they, uh, they suffer from sparkle. And um, sometimes people, when they are at the moment, the uh, NFC was, uh, was scanned, they were a little bit uh, thrilling, and NFC read was failing. Uh, moreover, uh, we use iProof for life and scan. Uh, people thought, well, making a selfie and making selfies different than making a selfie scan. Uh, and people, all, and some people were a little bit afraid when the when, uh, six six times flash uh, in different colors uh, was uh, was projected on their face. Uh, but people found it quite scary. Hi. Now, what have we learned from this uh, user research? We want to preserve. Uh, the use of a passport photo or ID card photo in Irma because we can use it for example for uh, situations like I described before to show your driving uh, driving, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, driving ability or, uh, and what we also want to preserve is to load data with a high reliability but we don't want uh, this complex uh, UI for a part of our users. So we have to prove that we want, we want to make it in a way that everyone can load a personal uh, ID in, uh, in, in their wallet. Uh, 
Um, and we also expect that the iProof scan will be hacked sometime, so we think uh, we should, should uh, develop an alternative for that. And that's why um, we, we uh, I, I show this slide because we have a lot of disabilities to take to into account. Uh, we have a lot of people having age disability and they are not that set, that's uh, internet safety, so they find it hard to, uh, or even too hard to, uh, to perform this uh, uh, ID uh, scan themselves. Uh, and I think that in the in our user group, uh, 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 not not 30 percent of our users was was 65 years or older. So the 25 percent is uh, maybe uh, will be higher in this group. Uh, I assume. Now we have a lot of disabilities to take into account. It can be visual uh, disability, it can be physical, cognitive, uh, as I said, uh, age or speech. Uh, all these uh, disabilities should be should be addressed when uh, developing an alternative. Now, for context, uh, yesterday we uh, we heard about uh, the EU wallet. Uh, Peter was also talking about it with uh, Mario Jose and um, and uh, Jan. Jan uh, Eric, yeah, right. So he had a nice um, uh, discussion about uh, all the themes about the EU uh, wallet. Uh, in the Netherlands, the Dutch government also has announced that they will uh, come up with a, at least one uh, digital identity for the citizens of the uh, Netherlands. And um, our question is, who guarantees to deliver this kind of uh, wallet uh, to our uh, users? Will it be the government? And yeah, they are iterating again uh, with other apps. Uh, or will it be the market using the NFC scan? Uh, we think we should uh, at least provide an extra alter alternative, the uh, mobile counter. And uh, I'm very proud of this uh, nice wooden uh, suitcase that we developed. Um, we think with this mobile counter we can uh, get a high reliable ADS high level. Uh, suppose if the sworn official uh, will check the ID document in advance and will perform the usual checks when checking an ID document. Uh, the sworn official uh, agrees to, uh, to the user to perform this uh, complete process. You can prove the process. Um, verification should be enabled when using these data, for example, so you can prevent stolen or, or uh, invalid cards to be used in, uh, uh, in all use cases. Um, let's give more attention of this uh, suitcase. This is what you see right now, but under the hood we have um, a Raspberry Pi, we have um, an NFC reader, of course, we have um, a modem and also a video card to, uh, 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 to connect to the to our touchscreen. Now it's time for a live demo, so I want to invite someone with a Dutch Passport. So does anyone brought his passport and wants to be the first? Yeah, what do you say? That's great. Try to sell. I don't explain how to do it. So <laughs> come on the stage, if you like. Now try to explain. What she's doing. It's in Dutch, so in front of me. It says, uh, put your uh, ID in your wallet. And she selects passport. She has three options. And now it says, put your passport in the device. And it also has a small, short animation. Now it says, your passport uh, yeah, is uh, looked for. It can take a while. You have to wait. It's a complex process. <laughs> it's a Raspberry Pi. Now, she succeeds. And now it asks, do you want to transfer this passport into your Irma app? And now a uh, QR code uh, is generated. What do you say is... Uh, Opening her Irma app. Yeah. 
cheap. <laughs> yeah, of course. If someone else, if someone else is getting it now, that uh... you're too late. Oh no, no, okay. Yes, it. Yeah. You, now she has her digital identity in her in her wallet. Yeah, it says pilot passport data since it's a pass it's a pilot uh, right now. So she managed. <laughs> Thank you, Marisa. Um, now, now it's time for me to say to give it a try. Uh, I will, will not do this uh, use test, but. Uh, we designed uh, a playing ground, uh, playing yard for, for our citizens to try out what you can do with using the Irma. So you can, for example, prove that you're above 18 or above 65. We also have a demo to log in and other demos as well. So you can uh, scan the QR code or go to this uh, website, it's in English too. And for all our non Dutch citizens, they can, uh, sorry, you can only use the demo where you can share your email address since you don't have Dutch, uh, um, Dutch data from the Dutch government. Uh, the Privacy by Design Foundation also has some demos and they are uh, useful for other um, countries as well. Um, we have some challenges for the next future. We want to add the driving uh, license to this uh, suitcase. It's uh, this moment it only supports ID and passport. Uh, we have to think about the design, which design we can implement using the card concept of IRMA. Um, we have made this nice wooden, uh, wooden suitcase, but how will it scale up if we want to make hundreds of them? Uh, we have to think about it. We're making uh, plans for other devices uh, using the same concepts. Uh, we will provide our, um, our codes open source, for, uh, of course. And um, we think about, that was on our previous slide, about a more valuable, attractive design of the ID cards and the passport and driving license in Irma. Um, so that's the end of my story. Kitos, uh, you can also give it a try to go to this uh, website. If you want to, mo to see more information about Irma, you can scan the other QR codes or uh, also for the open source documentation. So it's uh, the end of our presentation. If someone else wants to try this uh, suitcase, I will be around uh, after this presentation. And if you have questions now, yes? Uh, why we uh, you, you, you asked me why we limited to Dutch? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's still a prototype. It's an MVP uh, project. Um, I agree that it should be easy to connect to uh, other uh, IDs as well. Uh, if you have uh, hints for us uh, which sources to use, uh, it would be great. But um, for example, the Read ID app uh, that I mentioned before already has a multiple. Uh, ID support, so we can also uh, try to use these uh, connections. But um, when we started this suitcase, um, we, uh, we, we, we made a very small concept now, because we want to test it with users, we didn't test it yet, we, we test it with prototypes, but um, if we succeed we will ex extend it. And we can also use, connect it to other digital identities. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry. We're so we're over time, over time. Oh, okay, so but if you'd like to continue the conversation, we, there is a workshop on the for the smart cities happening today at 2 p.m. There's the flyers in the back, so please um, please find Mike and Peter and continue the conversation. Thank you so much. Yeah.